This has been a passion of mine for so long, way back, even before I was backpacking. Today we're talking about my everyday carry. So if you don't know what EDC is, it's your everyday carry. It's the stuff, the tools, the things you carry on your person um, every single day. What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Dan Becker here. Uh, so it's been a long time since I've made one of these videos. Actually, I've only made one of these videos ever. But if you're new to my channel, if you just came over uh, to check out this EDC video, um, then you're probably gonna wanna know that this is also an outdoor channel. I got tons of videos on that as well. So the first thing that's in my right front pocket, it literally lives in my right front pocket, is going to be uh, my wallet. This is the wallet that I had, uh, no update on this. So if you watched my last video, you're gonna watch this again. But this is a wallet called the Big Skinny. And I found this after tons of research. I wanted a very minimalistic wallet and this one definitely fits the bill. Get it? <laughs> I like it just because it's one, opens up just like that, you know, bifold, takes full size dollar bills, a dollar dollar bills. I got a couple more things that live in my front right pocket. Uh, next on the list is going to be my AirPod Pros. I was never a headphone guy, ever, up until recently, uh, when I bought these for my wife for Christmas, and she didn't like them, so guess who inherited them? I'm also uh, a flashlight guy. This lives in my front right pocket as well. Uh, this actually sits in the watch pocket. If you're not a flashlight guy, you should be a flashlight guy, because the phone flashlight, it just doesn't do the job. Quick, easy, um, and very convenient are little flashlights like this for your pocket. This is the Olight S1R baton. Now they've got, uh, this is the number two. They now have a number three out, which is like 200 lumens more, but this is a 1000 lumen flashlight. Um, and I use it literally every single day. The other cool thing that's uh, about this flashlight is that it's magnetic, fully magnetic flashlight. So I can, you know, put this on the fridge. I can put this under a car hood. I can just put it on a table and make a YouTube video. <laughs> but this tiny, flashlight is an absolute powerhouse and I absolutely love it. Now the only thing that lives in my front left pocket, and that's because I want nothing to scratch it, but it still gets scratches, is my phone. And I use the iPhone 12 Pro. <laughs> yeah, this is the 12 Pro. Um, and so let me know if you guys think I should upgrade to the 13, if there's anything uh, cool about the 13 that we should uh, be uh, upgrading for. Um, and this does have a case, but uh, I took it out of the case so you could at least check out the phone. It's not like you haven't seen one. Most of you probably have this phone. But then this is the case that I use and it's got a kickstand on it, which is an absolute must for me. So that way I can watch my YouTube videos. Uh, I can make video calls. Um, I can listen to music, portrait or landscape, or this way, whatever way I want. Uh, so every phone has to have a kickstand. I don't even know why they don't just, why don't they just, it is 2021. All phones should have kickstands on them, okay? Apple, are you listening, Tim? Mr. Cook? Uh, another thing that lives in my front right pocket is my knife. Um, I've been carrying this particular knife for a couple of years now. Um, I have lots of knives. <laughs> Spyderco, Benchmade, Kershaw. Uh, but this one is the Benchmade, I think it's the 940. And this one is uh, S30 V Steel, but uh, it does have a little bit of a discoloration on the tip of the blade here because I tried to open up some pool chemicals with it and uh, it discolored the metal here. So if you guys know how to fix that, please comment below. I would love to be able to fix that somehow, but um, awesome knife, has the access lock system on it. Uh, easy to open up with one hand, easy to close with one hand as well. So uh, one-handed tasks are available with this knife but great knife and it slips down in my pocket to the point where I don't even know it's there. Oh, also uh, my watch. My watch is the Apple Watch. This is the Series 5 Cellular um, and I'm looking at the Series 7 now just to see if I wanna upgrade. I might do that because my son uh, has been wanting an upgrade to his Apple Watch. He's got the Series 3 and my daughter wants an Apple Watch so we're gonna kinda do the hand-me-down thing. Uh, I do love this watch though. I really do. I don't think I'm ever gonna go back to anything other than an Apple Watch. Another item that doesn't actually live in any pockets, it lives on my belt loop when I am up, out and about because I don't like having it in my pocket whatsoever, is my keys. And so I'm a pretty simple guy when it comes to my keys, uh, but I um, carry my truck key here. I have an Apple AirTag, which is awesome by the way, if you guys don't use Apple AirTags. This is why you need an Apple AirTag. Was flying uh, from Maui back to uh, Wisconsin and they lost my luggage. 
but I put an Apple AirTag in my luggage and I was able to tell them exactly where it was at. And this here is just a little uh, clip that instead of using like a carabiner that a lot of guys use, I found this. This is by a company called Keysmart super lightweight and it's just uh, long enough that if I wanna hook this on my back belt loop, it will just, the keys will fit seamlessly right down in my back pocket or I normally don't do that though, I just kinda put it on a side belt loop and it just sorta hangs there, that way it doesn't get bunched up and you're not sitting on your keys all day long. So I absolutely love this little key smart right here. All right, that was just a quick update on Dan Becker EDC 2021. If you guys like this video, if you wanna see more videos like this, please let me know, I would love to make them because I love uh, everyday carry gear and uh, we'll see you guys on the next one